All right, week 15 of the NBL. Had a tough matchup here against James's bitch ass. I really prefer not to lose to him, but very real chance that we will lose to him, unfortunately. I haven't been playing this game as much as I need to to get my shit together. What is taking so long? You told me you were ready. Come the fuck on. Hey, what up, Roscoe? Ain't nothing going on, man. Just playing some Madden franchise. We're in week 15, getting real close to the playoffs. I am locked in for the playoffs, but I really want to win to my, my division. But I lost to the Bears, and they are leading my NFC North. So I got to win out if I want to win my division. I get to play the Bears last game of the season. So that's a big one. Hey, bro. Bro, I can dream, can I? I can dream, can I? Hey, what up, show Walter? What up, sir? James, I'm about to play James, one of your former employees, if he will ever join. Let's see what the fuck's going on with this dude. He's the one that said he was ready. Now he ain't showing up. Come on. With the come ons, bro. <laughs> Shout out to Roscoe. Definitely check out his channel. He's got some great content. I love um, the picture. Perfect, is it called? Or Between the Lines? Or uh, I love all your shows. They're great. So definitely check him out. Yes, James. James is the worst. I agree. That dude sucks tremendously. Oh, Morocco. Morocco scored. I missed this. Wow, Belgium's about to lose. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They're really about to lose. Come on, James. What's the problem, bro? I've been uh, trying to organize my comic book collection this morning. It's It gets messy quick around here. I have this system of separating backlog books and current books. I don't know if that's the best system right now. We'll see. I have like 30 short boxes and it's getting out of control. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I got concerns about the USA getting out of the group stage. I got real concerns after Iran scored two and who'd they beat? They beat somebody and made me really feel like we were screwed. But uh, my soccer people tell us we can beat Iran. I'm not sure. Didn't they beat Belgium 2-0 or something? I think that's what it was. 
they beat someone that we didn't beat. And I was like, oh, we're in trouble. This dude really is not here yet. Oh, uh, yeah, Wells. It was Wells. You're right. Wells, what a disappointment for them. Disappointing for us to lose to them, man. Should not have happened, especially after tying England. Come on. I thought England was going to shell us, man. I really did. I was really proud of the defense that we played. I felt like the U.S., you know, the thing that was missing for the U.S. was, and it misses. it's missing for a lot of teams that I watch, is that they just don't make that extra pass in the box. They uh, they just go for the big shot rather than just making that one little pass. Oh, finally, dude. Shit. And we find ourselves at the stadium that played host to Super Bowl 52, the Wonders U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Indianapolis uh -oh. Colts and the Minnesota. It was a little laggy. I don't like that. No, that was better. Oh my God, tackling this dude. Jeez. We already played Bills. Man, they beat us, didn't they? Am I tripping? I thought we played Wells first and off. Play, lost to Wales, tied. Uh... Tied England. Oh, this music he's playing sucks balls. Why is he playing shitty music? It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Why are you playing shitty He's one of those safeties that you can utilize in any way you want. But I will have to say, I think the number one thing he does best is tackle. The last run got six. Now second and four. Go again. Ah, come on, guys. Step up. You can't pass. Let's fucking stop him. <laughs> You're cheering for the Colts then, asshole. Volume four. Hi, guys. You want to stop the run or do you want to just let him keep doing that? There we go. Dude. There we go. At the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play, and it'll be second down. This defense for the Vikings. Hey, what up, Becker, man, you asshole? And I think our statistician, we ended up having to bring the blue tent and put it around him for a while because he was developing a hand injury from having to write down all the turnovers this team forced. Five, six, seven, eight. Absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> Come on, boys. He's passing here for sure. Now they'll throw it. Wins. Damn it. Hunter Henry brings it in. Damn it. What was that play? Pass midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Um, that one good for 26 and a first down. Okay. I got to play those out routes. He's able to get an open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they didn't. Yeah, dual out routes on both sides of the field there. <laughs> line of scrimmage moves from 137-yard line to the other as they come up first and 10. He's running they up football. Again. Oh, he's no not wins. running up. Uh oh. There we go, boys. Let's get some pressure. Needed that sack, but I'll take it. Needed that sack, but I'll take it. Uh, we gotta watch those out routes. Keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Line of scrimmage again, the 37 as they line up second and ten. They go back to the ground. Not expecting to run again. Damn it. 
And he works his way free all the way all right. down to the outskirts of the red Now we zone. just got to make him pass. It looks like he does not want to. He does not want to throw the football. And it's likely because he sucks at it. And so we need to make sure that he has to throw the football. You go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's coming like Damn it! And that is caught! Touchdown. Played me like a fucking fiddle that drive, but it's okay. Hey, what up, Evil? Good to see you, Mike. The Colts get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point up and through by Myers, and it's now a 7 nothing game. Well, and after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Not happy with the uh, and take it successfully. I really would like to get a stop because I kind of suck at this game, you know. We need to build a little confidence early, you know. Hopefully we can find some offense today. Come on, Sam Darnold, baby. On first down, it's Darnold. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Ron Thornhill. Yeah, I'll be back this week. Take possession of the football. Mike, Mike, did you like how uh, – I, I think you probably saw the comments on his last drive, one. I miss a show with Lorenzo for the first time all year, and that is the one video that Spine Ticks comes in comments on. I was laughing my ass off. That dude is so petty. It's hilarious to me how fucking petty that dude is. His ego is so wrapped up in this YouTube show. He really cares what people think. It's insane to me, dude. Shit was hilarious, though. And then he was like, I'm just saying hi to Lorenzo and thanking him for the show, though. This is easy to pass. And he'll get you fake ass dude. Yard. You fake ass dude. Game. Just be real. He's so field. fake, man. It's crazy how fake that dude is. And petty. Fake and petty. I'm the type of dude, if I'm talking shit, if I'm being petty, I'm going to tell you straight up I'm being petty. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. I got real problems. I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. Receiver motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. That doesn't turn into a huge play. I don't give a fuck about getting my ass kicked in this game. I can't stop this dude. Sanders. There we go, boys. I thought that shit was so funny, Mike. I enjoyed it. Because I like that shit. Like, when people act like that, I enjoy it. Dude. It's fun. Because it's so funny to me. So funny to me. Like, I know that dude has been checking on me, right? He's been checking on me. And he saw that I was finally not on one, and he popped in. That just is hilarious to me because I have not been checking on him. I don't give a fuck what that dude is doing. They could be talking shit on me every weekend. I would not know or give a fuck. We all know how much running backs love getting the ball down near the goal. Beckerman, get a new fucking way into the end zone. He already has that kind of luck so far. Ends up not getting in on the last two carries. You know, he's going to be upset about a missed opportunity. Really you know like he wants to, make to the run, baby. You know he wants to run. See if they can, but this is third and goal. Ah! He's got his Damn it! I saw that Debo shit too Sanders. fucking late, man. The second TD of the game and 16th of the season, and the Colts have taken a 13 to nothing first quarter lead. I mean, yeah, it's just like it doesn't They've gotta matter. Be but on like, the road right now. I'll tell touchdown, you, I went back stage with him one more time. And quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. He went through the list of all the people he has to be beef to with. <laughs> it was long. And I'm telling you, I was backstage with Rude and Phil. And he was going on about the PCP boys and how, like, like one time 
this dude said that they were in his head and he was just pissed about it. Why can't I pick a play? And I, and the whole time I was like, bro, like, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Why, why do you care so much? That dude yeah, is just, the touchdown, ego is so Myers wrapped up in shit. It's insane. It's insane. Fields it right around the goal line. What the fuck? And he'll what the go fuck? down at the two-yard line. What a disaster there. Only able to get it to the two-yard line on his return. The controller is not working. Oh, that was that sucks. Why is it shit? Shit. Let's get that back. Something happened. Yeah, you know, I, I'm the type of personality that I have conflict with lots of people. It's true. I'm just a conflict kind of person. Um, but I don't hold grudges. Like, it's just, it's the it's the end of it for me, you know? I don't give a fuck. There we go. Now we're back. Like, the reason why I blocked him is that he started going into this. I was like, bro, I don't have any beef with you. I just think it's stupid how you've kicked all the people I liked on your show off of the show, and I'm just not going to watch anymore. And he was going into, well, you do have beef with me then, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, block, dude. I don't even want to have this fucking conversation. Why can't I fucking move? What is going on? There we go. I think we're back. No, we're not. Why the fuck can't I connect back? What is going on? I don't understand why this shit broke. We might have to stop the stream and just play offline. I don't know what happened. I'll just switch to Twitch streaming. That's probably what I'll have to do. All right. You know, let me play now. Oh, I think we're back. Ah, I think we're back. Right. Well, it sucks we're on the two yard line, though. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And Charles, it's kind of gut check time. Look, I know it's early first quarter, just their second drive of the game, but they've already thrown the interception, given up the score. You're down double digits. They got down double digits. We're in major, major trouble. Looking like a blowout. I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm going to get blown out right here. I'm not good at this game. So to me, we always talk about someone stepping up and making a big play. I think it would behoove them if multiple guys step up right, and make big plays you. right now. They need something positive to happen. Square. They need for it to happen now. Don't you dare pick that. Jeez. It's incomplete. Oh, the fuck fuck is that now? The defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. Looks like we're going to be fighting here, boys. Absolutely frees up your guys elsewhere. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. From his own goal line, Darnold. Damn, dude, that great defense. I can't even be mad about that. That was just great defense. He read me like a bull. Take possession of the football. It's such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but that was so close. This is going to be ugly today. I can already get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is. And oftentimes, it's a touchdown, Colts. Well, the reason why he has beef with so many people is like it's like the slightest 
you know, thing, and it's well, just being the first right? quarter, the slightest uh, little yeah, thing, and he's in his feelings about it. Like, <laughs> what's the dude, the comic <laughs> king guy? He said something about so the PCP guys That's really being in, in Sid's head, and this dude was like really mad about that. <laughs> Like you, I, have my I just can't imagine you carrying that much, man. I really can't. So how about this for a start? 21 nothing here in the first as they kick this one yeah, away. Yeah, I suck, Ryan. I'm really bad at this. Let's take it in at the goal line. And I'm not motivated to play in the better, which is a recipe for uh, getting your ass kicked. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback. And know how hey, you we got a first down, down baby. We're on our way. It has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Catch it. You oh, it. It. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Darnold, one for five. Having a like great, it's great start to this game. They did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. On second and ten. Circle. Darnold. And here's another interception. Wow. The third of this first quarter. No, I'm not having fun, Mike. I'm not the having Colts fun. Are get of the <laughs> this is not fun. This dude is eating my ass up right now. Twenty-one, nothing. Our score after one. I can't believe he picked that. Like, what the fuck? Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten, right at the fifty-yard line. Wins on the give to Sanders, and the big boys up front. They're going to stop him right now. All right, let's. Uh, no gain on the yeah, this game's over, down. actually. <laughs> Beckerman, we playing Iowa football? football? Is that what you want me to do? Play Iowa football? Still plenty agile. How about them hot nice guys, huh? There to swallow up the ball carrier. Officially, nothing on that last. I remember run. you talking a little shit about them crushing Nebraska. What happened, bro? Another run here with Sanders. What happened, bro? Come on, tackle him. Despite the strong run, he'll be hit and dropped shy of the 45. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, I don't like athleticism, that it creates a nice timeout. space for him. The Vikings going to signal for the first to their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step what do you aside mean here too soon, Beckerman? <laughs> what do you mean, bro? They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. <laughs> now Wentz on third down. Thank you. Really needed and that. To get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. Need you to do that a Picked lot more. Darkwell's Denard, and the Vikings are going to take possession. Need you to keep doing that for me, brother. So really, the first give us a chance here. Can we play some offense here? You think maybe? The roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a waste oh. because you don't want to go on auto pilot. He was there. Too. Come on, darn. The team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Darnold. What? Come on. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Colts are going to take over. Bro, I can't stop throwing. Yes. Well, CD, you know, when you mentioned earlier about spreading the ball around in this game, I don't think you mentioned the guys in the other uniform with four interceptions here in the first half, and several different guys have picked him off. Yeah, instead of analyzing what's going wrong with him. Throwing the football. Well, look at the defense. They can be prepared. Had excellent game plan. Well scouted. And they're taking it away at almost every turn. Now on second and 13. Wentz complete to likely. 
Went call it a gain of three on the play. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left. But just a minimal gain is a and even that fast. Come on, damn it. I had fucking QB contain on, too. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6 5 quarterback picks up the first down. No surprise to see Hey, thanks for coming through, Evil. Love you, brother. Take care. We're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. And he's got it across the midfield strike and into Viking territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. On the counter now, it's Sanders. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Oh, if his defense oh. wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try to make some plays in their backfield. Wentz going to try and throw on third. And a big loss here as he's taken. Now down. we can just find some offense somehow. Second quarter action. With Maybe we can get back into this game. Remaining. Fourth down and on his tie long to punt. <laughs> Beckerman, join the league to shut the fuck up. All right. Either join my franchise or shut the fuck up. Because I'm sure this will be fielded at the 17. Far more uh, trash than I have. Yeah, no doubt about it. On the return. And the Vikings will take over here first and ten. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Hey, That's he completed a pass. Complete. How about that? And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. To throw again on second down. Darnold. Let's take that in by the time, boys. I will take that every time. And even 60 yards. Let's run this clock out. <laughs> we don't need more terrible players. We need good players in my league. We have plenty of terrible players. They'll run with Chubb. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Darnold, a sneak. Yeah, stop that sneak, dog. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Sam Darnold in the final seconds of the first half. And the Vikings are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. All right, we score in the second half here. It's been a one-score game. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. Let's go, baby. Let's go. So just eight ticks remaining here in the first half as they'll kick this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle taken down. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. All right, baby. Let's get a stop. Let's get the ball back. Score again. One score again. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. All right, so we've got go. the halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA nice Sports build of what? Report. Coach. A PC or a game? And we welcome
welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Oh, okay. What games do you play on PC? The I'm looking for a, to I want a, a massive multiplayer for the online here as we resume play. I want a good MMO. No run back here to begin the half. Elder Scrolls Online was the last the one I played. I just didn't like the class system they set up in Elder Scrolls. It was like, I, it's stupid that everyone can heal. Now to start their next the cla- they kind of messed Charles, up class It'll be interesting to see what like adjustments this offense X made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So Damn, he was wide open. Pass it to him. In quarter three. And I'm pretty sure there were friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, really they got to pick up the urgency here. They got to get quickly X in and out of the huddle frame. and run off a bunch more plays. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. That's into the hands of the tight end boy, and he will have the Vikings first down. A little rusty to start the game. I probably should have won. Uh, I haven't been playing this game at all. They give the chub out of the gun. And he can only Should manage to get a couple that, that was second a and eight call. coming up. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Circle R1. No, X R1. From the 39, Darnold. Polluting the pressure right. Man open. Let's go, That's Darnold. With the improvise, the, the, the improvisation. And Chubble try the middle here. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Jarrell. Wide open. Next circle triangle. Let alone put points up on the board. He's going to find his tight end Boyle. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 23. First down throw, Darnold. No way! Another interception. No way! By Benjamin St. Juice. And the Colts. Hey, thanks for coming through, Roscoe. Later, brother. Yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. Star Wars. And that was the position you wanted to be right? in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going. Yeah, I don't for like the end zone. Games. Possibly got a little bit too really greedy fast. right there. Like, I can't even. The really Colts play come to the line, ready now, to start their next play like drive. three matches. And their defense has helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive. Oh, I really hate that. I fell for that play action. That's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. And those two just have been in sync thus far. We've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Wentz going to uh. try and run again. Wentz isn't even that fast. Come on. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Carson Wentz. That pisses me off yards. so much. And the Colts Fucking Carson Wentz. by three touchdowns. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now we start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fourth That fucking suck. You know you suck when you lose Because the they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. 
after the touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. And this loss will take away my chances of winning the division, I'm pretty sure. No run back here for Duvernay. Touch back out to the 25. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. As this offense takes the field against CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. That's still down quite a bit here, several scores. but yeah, I don't understand how these aren't completions. Here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to oh, make that up and over. then some on second and 13. <laughs> Wentz going to run with it. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. The quarterback run He's good for 10 that time, but it does lead to a third down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Wentz going to throw. Yeah, that is incomplete. I'm right there. Give me the ball. Third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bring up fourth down. Here we go. Here we go. It's going to go on fourth down. Damn it. Got a man. It's Chase. He Reddit just it. can't fucking line and it up, right? have a Colts first down. It's now be a gain of 15 on fourth. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, we might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And he'll get into All right, the end let's zone. get this game over with. Indianapolis. Debo Samuel with his fourth Myers, rushing touchdown of the year. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that'll increase their lead to 28. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. Oh, man, this sucks. Here the Vikings had a chance, to too. Next drive. We just fucking well, suck in exactly the second We haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, Surprise he didn't drop it. Much all, but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. Now it's Darnold. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Von Miller in there to get him. Sack number 14 for him on the year. I don't care. Let's go. Game long for this he lost anyway. Already down big. And now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Know? They just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of it. They snap it. They're going for it. Here's Darnold. Pass over the middle, tipped, but he's what? <laughs> and he's gonna the Vikings I'll take that, baby. <laughs> and keep the drive alive. Darnold. 
Oh, it was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Well, partner, they've certainly played up to their top 10 defensive pranking this week. They've stifled this opposing offense throughout this game. This contest is now lopsided because of their efforts, and there's still a quarter to go. Second down and 10, Dartle. Open man is Duvernay. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 44-yard line. Back to throw, Darnold. Oh, I threw that immediately. But they'll say it's incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. Glad to have you with us from Minneapolis. Third quarter here, second and ten. To throw is Darnold. And now here's another interception. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. Taking it right down Broadway. All right. I and he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. And Charles, for this Jackson offense, Myers. those interception Myers. woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways Man, how many interceptions is that? Jeez. They've been playing. Jackson I expect Myers. them to do exactly that. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. No run back no here for Duvernay. Touch back out to the 25. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve? Maybe I should have ran the football today. The <laughs> I think you have to find something to play for something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlaw. You don't get many like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. They run it again with Chubb. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Give him maybe a yard, quite the opposite from the previous big gainer. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And he'll find QT on the right side complete. And the Vikings are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Now they return to the ground game, Chubb, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Off of play action, Darnold. That's caught left side by the tight end, Boyle. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Now Darnold. Toward the end zone, oh, I that's the ball. Line you up it. incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. That's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Fourth down and for Darnold, it's desperation time. He's got his man. It's taken for a freaking touchdown. 
Devin Duvernay from four yards out. And the Vikings get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this Small measure of revenge. That's a dumb way to put it. And good. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. Following the touchdown, here's Mar to kick it away. On the return from his end zone, Rodgers. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Isaiah Rodgers on the return. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 31 yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they've got to be feeling very comfortable and confident here with this lead in the football here in the fourth quarter, Charles. And I don't think that they need to score again, but it seems like this offense is just getting better as the game goes on. They've scored on their last two drives. It certainly feels like a chance for them to continue to have some fun out there, doesn't it? The game's already decided, as you noted. So they can continue to play loose, break out some other concepts, maybe run a few trick plays, get other people involved. Heck, even go deep on one of these first snaps just because they can. Second down, back to Sanders. And he'll push forward to the 37, gate of two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations would be extra defenders right. in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Man, I need more coffee. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he'll lose yardage. Give me the ball back. Back at the 37-yard line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. He's going to go for it. What a dick. Wins to throw for it on four. Four steps, and he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack. Got a turnover on downs. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And the Vikings, they have the football now in excellent field position. Come on, bro. Let me audible. On first down, Darnold. And he's going to go down here. Well, sack. They push him back to the 34. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. That is caught inside the five. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Darnold now to throw. Nah, it's intercepted at the goal line. Uh, Thornhill. And the Colts are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Charles. Are you kidding me? Four interceptions? I mean, that's a good season for a lot of defensive backs. A lot of reason to get voted into the Pro Bowl. When you have four in one game, that means talk about a campaign slogan, right? I got four. Send me to the Pro Bowl, guys. What a game we've experienced watching this one. Go, go. Oh, God, this sucked. Balls. Dude, turn on the chew clock, man. What is your problem? The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here.
We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Hey, empty, empty. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. He's going to air one out. And that's caught inside the 35. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this way. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary a clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. This was not fun. I straight up did not have the touchdown. Have Here's Myers to boot it away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And a pretty poor return as he will dive to the ground to give himself up. Uh, that final kick brutal. concludes the ball game. Fucking Parker. brutal. One side, a really nice win in this one. They were good All on right. offense and on defense. I suck.